We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This is uh, about how Nick Chubb was used this season. Hello, I'm James. I'm a true Browns fan. Been a true Browns fan probably before Bernie Kosar days. But anyway, my concern is, yeah, I kind of agree with with some of the fans about the coaching staff, because there's many times that they should have ran ran our BC 24 running back. He's probably the best in the league. You know, I mean, there's a lot of he should have he should have had top numbers even with his missing a few games. He should be the number one running back of all time. But our coaching staff does the coaching staff doesn't know how to put him in when 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 really to need to be there. Baker, Baker is garbage. Baker has missed too many receivers downfield. Baker has not read his read, reads right. I think that all falls back on the coaching. Coaching sucks. Even management sucks. You know, we should have done been to the Super Bowl a couple times. Obviously, it's not going to happen. Very disappointing season. Let's see if we have another disappointing season. If not, we need to change coaches again. All right. Uh, certainly appreciate the voicemail. Um, I get what you're saying with with Chubb. Disagree with you on um, on Baker being garbage. Now, quarterback play needs to improve. Um, and, and Tim, the last thing in the world I want is to change coaches in front office again. I think one of the reasons we're in this mess is because we change coaches in front office every two three years. Um, I thought the front office actually did a pretty good job. I've said that repeatedly. I think Andrew Barry, uh, I understand the plan. I understand how he attacked it. Um, I think some of the players need to play a little bit better. It's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think Browns fans should have full confidence in Andrew Barry and, you know, the moves he's made as general manager. I mean, they've worked, the moves he's made have worked out more often than they have, which is always what you kind of want is you, from your general manager. I have to disagree with, you know, obviously what he's saying about coaching. I mean, it, it's the NFL. You know, teams have to throw more than they run more. It's it's just the nature of the game. It's 2022. The game is tiered. And the rules are tiered, are set up so that the passing game has the advantage in a lot of ways, you know, with the ways that they protect the quarterback, you know, contact against the receivers being so limited now compared to what they used to be. You know, every team's going to throw more, more, throw more than they run because that's just what they do. I mean, no matter who the quarterback, no matter who the running back is, I mean, and obviously, you know, I understand, you know, fans not wanting, not being happy about how few times Nick Chubb has run. I mean, remember, this was a guy who in college also had a lengthy injury history. So you're trying to maximize him and, you know, protect him, give him a lot, give him, you know, longevity in his career, maximize him for when you absolutely desperately need him. And when it comes to the lack of offense, I mean, you know, coaching can only do so much. I mean, the saying is, it's not always about the exits and knows it's about the Jimmys and Joes and the Browns have to get those guys to really improve the offense and make it easier on the coaching. And I think when, if, the, if Andrew Brick can get those playmakers, you'll see Kevin Stefanski's offense look very different because all of a sudden he'll have players he could trust more in those situations because they'll turn shorter passes into big plays and convert those big plays more often because that's that's what the NFL is on offense is who can make those big plays and the Browns just didn't have enough of those guys in 2021. Yeah, and again, we're, we're in year three of this regime with Stefanski and Barry. Uh, year one probably went a little bit better than everybody thought they did. They made the playoffs. It increased the in, in um, the expectations. And the other thing is, I guess I'm saying um, we need a little bit more, a little bit better from Andrew Barry as well. You know, I I I, I don't like the wide receiving core. So obviously, um, you don't go into a season and say, man. We're set, you know, our wide receivers aren't any good. So, obviously, they, they misjudged what they had um, in the wide receiving core. And it, and it was injured. It was banged up. But, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll say they need to get more playmakers on offense. That's what, that's what this offseason should be about.